the fashion sewers. In this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to sew a shirt sleeve placket. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. Here is an example of a placket and what it is, it's here and it is an extension of the sleeve where you need to be able to get your hand into the smaller area of the sleeve. So what is happening here, there is a slit opening into the sleeve itself and to cover the raw edge we use a placket um, that can be decorative and the one I'm going to be demonstrating for you is going to be called a continuous placket. On this example here I've indicated with a pin marking the length of the actual sleeve opening and I've snipped it at the bottom so that will tell me that I need to cut straight up to this pin and that will give me the length of the opening for the placket and if I turn it on to the wrong side I've stabilised the area just with a thin piece of interfacing, fusible interfacing so that when I come to stitch it there will be less um, movement of the fabric. So once it's interfaced I need to cut a straight line to my pin marking I'm working on the wrong side and that's where my pin is and if I open it out, that is going to be the sleeve opening. Um, the sleeve opening is now cut. Now here is the placket, and the placket is the length of the sleeve opening. And what I've done here is I've pressed one edge, which I will later be able to put into place and do um, another row of stitching. So it's best to get your pressing out of the way whenever possible. So I'm going to line up this raw edge against the raw edge of the opening. So I've got it on the right side and the right side of the placket and pin it into place. Actually I'm going to turn it this way around so you can actually see how I'm working with the fusible interfacing. So raw edges together and I'm going to go down the length of the opening, pin that place. And then I'm going to start at the other end and pin that into place. And making sure that the raw edges are in place. Now we're going to come to this little area here where you'll see a little bit more of the placket because it's narrow and we'll when, you, when we come to sew that, you'll actually see that you can, if you're not careful, sew a little bit of the sleeve, which you don't want to do. So you'll have a little bit more of the placket showing in this area here, where it's actually coming to where I've actually stopped when I actually cut the slit. So that's okay, so I'm happy with that. And now what I need to do is take it to the sewing machine. Now I'm going to just reverse and I'm going to be sewing just outside of the interfacing. So judge it by the width of your foot and you're making sure that you're just going to be sewing straight along, straight down. And then just be careful when you come to this area here, which I'm getting to now, because you don't want to create any pluckers so work with your hand wheel keep your needle down position your sleeve so you're keeping it as flat as possible needle down work with your hand wheel lift your feet position it because you don't want to create a plucker in there when you've actually sewn that area I'm going to do one more and what you're doing you're just enabling the sleeve Part of your garment to be as flat as possible so you don't create any little tucks in your stitching so hopefully i've done that there's a few more yeah i'm happy with that and then i can just get my sleeve packet into place go down and then i'm ready to sew straight down to the other end i've now Hopefully got my straight stitching. Now this was a tricky part where we didn't want any pluckering to happen. So if I just turn it onto the 
right side I'll turn it around this way we should hopefully not have any pluckering whatsoever no yeah so that is what you're supposed to try to achieve yeah you can see a little bit of my um, red thread but that doesn't really matter because obviously if I was working with my the, the fabric um, th colour of the fabric then you wouldn't see that now press the raw edge of the sleeve opening into towards the placket and the next thing to do is to get the pressed folded edge we had earlier and bring that over covering the raw edges and the stitches and pin that into place So I'm going to pin all the way down and then it'll be ready for taking to the sewing machine and stitching. Uh, I'm working on the right side and I'm going to be sewing into the seam where the placket has been attached. So we're going to do um, what is called a ditch stitch or sink stitch. So we're going to go right into the seam and that will be able to catch the fold on the wrong side. Remember to pull your pins out as you go. You can go as slow as you like, you can also base if you wish. Remember we are sink stitching as much as possible into that seam. And if you have to go slow then do so. Because it's quite difficult to see. So do you bear that in mind so I'm going to continue going all the way down and it shouldn't be that tricky when you come to this point here just be careful use your hand wheel and you know raise your foot raise your needle just to reposition it so you don't get any tiny little pluckers move my needle I'm now showing you the right side of the sleeve and the placket now as you can see hopefully that i've sewn into the seam now if this was the color of the uh, fabric then obviously it wouldn't be so obvious but that is how close you need to be now that is the right side i've just said now but just flip that over you can see that it's caught the edge the folded edge and that's what you need to do and it's a very straight seam once you've actually finished sewing it onto the sleeve now we need to get this packet to stay on the inside of the garment so what we need to do next is to fold it into the garment like so the sleeve and then the next step will be to press that into place and then once you've done that we then need to sew so we're working on the wrong side of the sleeve we then need to slow the top of the fold here to keep the placket in place. You then need to sew the top of the fold of the placket just at a slight angle to the point of where it meets the actual shirt opening and then it will stay in place and you have a beautiful sleep op sleeve opening with the raw edge covered and it now becomes a functional part of a garment. I hope you found that video tutorial of help. The tip here is to remember to use a hand wheel for greater control when it comes to the narrow part of sewing the placket to the sleeve so you don't create any folds or gathers. Don't forget to subscribe to Fashion Sewing Blog TV. Click here to subscribe for free weekly fashion sewing tutorials. And if you have any comments or queries, please put them in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.